Hey guys, Mar Marine here, bringing you a best of three series today from the Zotac Cup. It is going to be a TVP this time. Uh, Empire's happy spawning as the Red Terran on the top left position um, on Entombed Valley, and in the bottom left position we have AI Terra spawning as the Green Protoss. Um, AI Terra is a bit of an unknown player, but I did look him up. He is rank 33 of the Grandmaster League on the EU server, so. He is no slouch um, by any means. Empire Happy, on the other hand, he is on the StarCraft 2 team Empire. They are a very formidable team in the EU region right now. Um, they have other players like Beastie Cutie, Brad OK, Cass. You know, all these guys play so much ladder. And on a personal note, I really love Team Empire because all their Terrans are so solid because of the amount of ladder they play. Their mechanics are top notch. And uh, I'm excited to get into this game. Um, the TVP matchup is an interesting one where Protoss kind of dictates what tech they want to go and then the Terran has to really scout it very well in order to counteract that tech with some uh, tech of their own. For example, if the Protoss goes for Colossus and the Terran does not um, answer those Colossus with Vikings, the Terran is in a really bad spot. But uh, we'll see what kind of kind of build uh, Empire is happy does want to do. I know he does favor the macro style in all of his matchups. So I would be I wouldn't be too surprised if he just one racks expanded here. Uh, the probe does scout north straight away and does uh, see where Empire Happy is spawning. And um, you know SCV does know that uh, Tara should be here. So the SCV does go down there a gateway is on the way the gas at a standard timing as well. And the probe is actually going up here to hide. It might be going for some sort of proxy, actually. Um, the Toon Valley is a pretty good map for a Terran in this matchup. And a lot of times we do see Protosses, um when they want to do any sort of one base cheese. They, they will proxy a Robo in a position like this and go for a three gate Robo build. But Empire Happy does have this SCV patrolling here. And look at this. The pylon does um, go down here, so we'll see what he can do. And Empire Happy has expanded onto the low ground. An interesting choice. Um, actually, no, he's just blocking the uh, the Nexus position with this engineering bay. But um, uh, this doesn't actually affect Terra too much because he does have this probe position here with the proxy pylon. He has no intentions of expanding anytime soon he is probably going to throw down either a stargate or a robo um, a void ray one base all in used to be popular but not so much anymore I feel like the immortals immortal all in is a lot more effective especially on a map like this with rocks here if um, Empire happy does start putting down a bunch of bunkers the Protoss can go from the side you know start engaging those bunkers one at a time instead of three and uh, the engineering bay does get taken down slowly, and Terra does have a, a probe position here, hoping that Empire's Happy does spot it. And, uh, you know, kind of hope that Happy just assumes that Terra went for a Nexus after destroying that um, engineering bay. And the Robo has gone down, so it does look like it is going to be some sort of a immortal play off one base. I wouldn't be surprised to see him add two more gates. Maybe even three if he if he's uh, feeling like he really wants to go all in. But um, we'll see what he does. And two stalkers are positioned here to uh, deny the scouting uh, SCV of Happy from spotting the, the natural nexus position. And we'll see what happens. Uh, the robo is nearly complete, and and world does start. So yes, and two more gates are started behind this as well. So it is going to be a three gate robo. Um, all in off one base. Another SCV is um, skirting across the side of the map to try and get another scout off. I would assume if he doesn't get this SCV in, um, he will drop down a scan because you really need to know as a Terran what is going on in the Protoss base. But we'll see. Um, and the scan does go down in these spots that there is no Nexus. Um, Empire's Happy should throw down a few more bunkers here just in case. He knows the process is doing some something off one base. The second immortal is being Corona boosted out right now, and the, the worker count is actually even right now. But uh, Happy should pull ahead if he um, continues to uh, build SCVs. He 
could choose to cut them for now to try and crank out as many units as possible together with a lot more um, bunkers. And the SCV spots the units in front of his base so he knows the attack is commencing real soon and the pylon is going down here behind these rocks. A really nice proxy pylon position there. And the SCVs have already been built. Only one more bunker is being started. And I feel like this positioning is slightly questionable. The missiles are going down as well, so he could be suspecting some kind of um, DT play as well, because he ha he doesn't know that Immortals are out right now. And it does look like Terra is opting to go up the ramp right now. The Guardian Shield does activate, but the SCVs are in a nice position. We'll see how the force fields go. Nice force fields blocking most of the SCVs from repairing. But the second bunker is being repaired quite nicely by uh, the SCVs. Um, Terra, most of the Terra's units are out of range of this bunker, though. Um, that turret does go down, and the Happy is holding on to this one bunker and the few units that he has, though. Um, the starport is nearly done. If he can start getting some um, medevacs out on the field together with the stim, the bio forces should be able to hold this off, but it's looking a little bit bleak for him right now. Only one bunker with this many units. Um, this amount of sentries does allow uh, Terra to get some really nice forces off, segmenting parts of the Terran army uh, away from each other. And uh, the supply was are being targeted down as well. Trying to supply block happy. Nice force field on the ramp. Uh, some of the units do, can, can't even get through right here. And the bunker does get destroyed. And it's looking really bleak for happy right now. He, his forces are re really limited at the at the moment. While uh, Tara is sitting at 66 supply to the 40 of uh, Empire happy. He is supply blocked as well. He's in an atrocious position right now. Um. And I feel like Tarash could probably try and move up the ramp once his force field wears off. Um, Empire's Happy does land this factory to try and uh, constrict the Protoss army from trying to move up this ramp. Some of the Zelds should probably target this. And then the SCVs come here to block as well. And um, the Stim does come down with the Medivacs. But it does look like uh, Terra just have, has an overwhelming amount of units right here. And the Nexus does go down back at home. Um, you know, Ayatara knows that he m will probably win the game right here, but still doesn't want to take any chances if uh, Happy holds this off. He wants to be an even bigger lead, as Artosis says, went ahead, get more head, and this, that's exactly what Tara is doing right now. Um, Empire's Happy is holding on as long as possible, but he just pulled the SVs at nice force fields, uh, preventing the bio from actually engaging the Protoss army right now. And I feel like even if the Terran army did engage this Protoss army with all the SCVs combined, he still wouldn't be able to defeat it. Terra does pull back onto the low ground, he doesn't want to risk any sort of um, SCV surround. And uh, an observer has been, um, has come out for the Protoss plane, he does spot everything, and he does see that the Terran army is significantly smaller than his own, he does feel confident enough to go up the ramp, and Empire's having pulled all of his SCVs right here, nice force field yet again, preventing the bio forces from directly engaging the Protoss army yet again. And uh, with Empire happy, you know, losing two of his barracks, the reactor on the, on the starboard should go down. And it does look like um, Terra is confident enough to engage the army now. And uh, Empire is happy, should GG out of this game any time now. And there comes the GG. So that game, um, Terra did opt to go for a proxy robo play with three gates in the main to do a one base immortal all in. Um, Empire is happy, did scout that there was no Nexus, but. He didn't actually know what was coming because the robo was proxied, so he was kind of unsure. We saw him put down a turret, you know, that could have been another bunker. And, you know, with, with another bunker, he might have been able to hold that a little bit better. But, um, we'll move into game two now. Um, I'm pretty excited to see what uh, Empire Happy and Terra pull out next game.